He's huge! Did you know there's a giant dude watching over Rio de Janeiro? And no, I'm not talking about your overprotective mother on vacation. I'm talking about Christ the Redeemer, a statue so big it could make Lady Liberty herself feel a little inadequate. Seriously, this guy is massive. We're talking 98 feet tall, arms stretched out like he's about to give Rio the biggest hug ever. You know those tiny souvenir statues you can buy? Yeah, this ain't that. This is the real deal, and he's here to party. Well, not really party, but you know what I mean? He's impressive. The statue was completed in 1931 and stands on the peak of the two 300-foot Corcovado Mountain. It took nine years to build, and it was designed by Brazilian engineer Heitor da Silva Costa and French sculptor Paul Landowski. Today, it's one of the new seven wonders of the world and attracts nearly two million visitors each year. Imagine standing at the base of this colossal figure, looking up at those outstretched arms as the sun sets behind him. At night, the statue is illuminated, casting a serene glow over the city. It's a sight that leaves you in awe, a reminder of the incredible artistry and engineering that went into creating this masterpiece. The details are astonishing, from the folds of his robe to the serene expression on his face. It's no wonder people from all over the world come to see him, to take photos, and to feel a sense of peace and wonder. So, next time you find yourself in Rio, make sure to pay a visit to this iconic statue. Whether you're religious or not, there's something undeniably powerful about standing in the presence of Christ the Redeemer. It's a moment you won't forget, a highlight of any trip to Brazil. Hold on to your hats, ladies, because this is one giant you'll want to meet. So, who is this handsome devil overlooking Rio de Janeiro? Well, it's none other than Christ the Redeemer, a symbol of peace, love, and probably really good hairspray. I mean, have you seen that hair? It's withstood storms, wind, and probably a pigeon or two. That's some stronghold, my friends. But seriously, this statue isn't just about looks. He represents hope and faith for millions of people around the world. He's like the ultimate wingman, always there to lend an ear, even if it's just a giant concrete one. Now, you can't just have a giant Jesus statue chilling anywhere. You need a dramatic location, right? Well, they nailed it with Corcovado Mountain. It's like the ultimate pedestal, perched 2,300 feet above Rio. Talk about a room with a view. Imagine standing up there, wind in your hair, looking out at the sprawling city below, and there he is, arms wide open like he's saying, Welcome to Rio, gorgeous! Enjoy the view, but don't even think about trying to steal my thunder. This wasn't some weekend DIY project, people. This was a monumental task that required meticulous planning, engineering prowess, and a lot of manpower. Imagine the sheer scale of this endeavor, where every single detail had to be perfect. Building Christ the Redeemer was a massive undertaking. Kind of like trying to assemble IKEA furniture after a few margaritas, but on a much grander scale. The project was not just about erecting a statue, it was about creating a symbol of faith, hope and unity for an entire nation. It took nine long years to build this behemoth, from 1922 to 1931. During this period, countless workers toiled day and night, facing numerous challenges, from harsh weather conditions to logistical nightmares. Each year brought its own set of hurdles, but the determination to see the project through never wavered. They used over six million tiles to cover him, each carefully placed by hand. These tiles were not just any ordinary tiles. They were specially crafted to withstand the elements and ensure the statue's longevity. The precision and care that went into placing each tile is a testament to the dedication of the workers. Can you imagine the grout lines? Each line had to be perfect, ensuring that the tiles fit seamlessly together. This was no easy feat, considering the sheer size of the statue and the intricacies involved in its design. Talk about a nightmare cleaning job! Maintaining the statue is an ongoing task, requiring regular cleaning and upkeep to preserve its pristine condition. The workers who take on this job have to be incredibly skilled and brave, 
given the statue's towering height and exposed location. But hey, it's all worth it for a statue that can withstand the test of time, right? The Christ the Redeemer statue stands as a testament to human ingenuity, resilience, and the power of collective effort. It's not just a marvel of engineering, it's a symbol of enduring faith and the incredible things we can achieve when we come together with a shared vision. You might be surprised to learn that our beloved Redeemer wasn't just a Brazilian project. Oh no, this was an international collaboration, honey. The design came from Brazilian engineer Heitor da Silva Costa, but the actual sculpting? That was all French sculptor Paul Landowski. Apparently, they thought, who better to create a giant statue of Jesus than the country that gave us croissants and the Eiffel Tower? And you know what? They weren't wrong. Now let's talk drama. You know how people say lightning never strikes twice? Well, they clearly haven't met Christ the Redeemer. This guy is a lightning rod, literally. He's been struck by lightning multiple times, most notably in 2014, which caused some damage to his fingers. But you know what? He just shrugs it off. He's like, bring it on, Mother Nature. You can't keep a good Redeemer down. Talk about resilience. Maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's that Brazilian sunshine. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, get this. Now you can feel the glory of Christ the Redeemer from the comfort of your couch. Imagine sitting in your living room, sipping your favorite beverage, and enjoying a breathtaking view of one of the most iconic statues in the world. This statue, towering over Corcovado Mountain, is one of the largest Christian statues in the world, standing 30 meters tall, and with the base, the total height reaches 38 meters. Hailed as one of the seven wonders of the New World, the statue is Rio de Janeiro's most famous landmark. You can admire the intricate details and craftsmanship that went into creating this masterpiece. From the folds of his robes to the expression on his face, every aspect has been captured in great detail. Let's go back to the early 20th century. Brazil was celebrating the 100th anniversary of its independence. In 1921, a group of Brazilian Catholics came up with the idea of building a giant statue of Christ to mark this important occasion. They chose Corcovado Mountain, a peak that overlooks Rio de Janeiro and symbolizes Christ protecting the city. The task of designing the statue fell to Brazilian engineer Heitor da Silva Costa and French sculptor Paul Landowski. Work officially began in 1926 and took five years, ending in 1931. The statue is made of reinforced concrete and plaster, which makes it sturdy in the face of harsh weather conditions. But seriously, the level of detail in the statue is incredible. You can see the texture of the stone, the weathering caused by years of wind and rain, and even the tiny cracks and imperfections that give the statue its character. Every detail of the Christ the Redeemer is meaningful. Christ's open arms symbolize welcome and inclusion, where people from all over the world can find solace. The statue faces southeast, towards the center of Rio de Janeiro, as if looking down and protecting the city. Christ the Redeemer is not only a religious symbol, but also a symbol of unity and hope for the Brazilian people. Every year, thousands of tourists and pilgrims come here to experience the spiritual power brought by this statue. Christ the Redeemer has also appeared in many movies, books, and souvenirs, and has become a part of Brazilian culture. When the sun sets in Rio de Janeiro, casting a golden light on the Christ the Redeemer statue, you will be reminded of the beauty and miracle of our world. You can experience all of this without leaving your home. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. Happy exploring! Ever wonder what Christ the Redeemer is holding in his hands? Besides the weight of the world, that is. Well, magical feature, we finally get a closer look. And the answer is, his hands. Okay, okay, that was a total cop-out. But seriously, his outstretched arms are a symbol of welcome and embrace, kind of like a giant come-at-me-bro pose, but in a loving, compassionate way. Let's be real, ladies. This statue isn't just about size and impressive engineering. It represents something much bigger, something that resonates with people from all walks of life. It's a symbol of hope, faith, and the enduring human spirit. Whether you're religious or not, you can't deny the powerful message this statue conveys. 
It's a reminder that even in the face of adversity, there's always something to believe in, something to strive for. Over 90 years old and still looking fine. That's right, Christ the Redeemer has aged like a fine wine or maybe a really well-preserved concrete sculpture. He's undergone several restorations to keep him in tip-top shape because let's face it, nobody wants to see a crumbling Jesus. They even gave him a little makeover in 2010, cleaning those pesky grout lines and making sure his smile was extra dazzling. Talk about a glow up. So there you have it, ladies. Christ the Redeemer, a giant, handsome, lightning-proof symbol of hope, faith, and Brazilian engineering. If that doesn't make you want to book a flight to Rio, I don't know what will. Just imagine yourself sipping caipirinhas on the beach, soaking up the sun, and maybe even snapping a selfie with the big guy himself. From a respectful distance, of course. It's an experience you won't soon forget. Now you know the story and symbolism behind this magnificent statue. Whether you come here to enjoy the beautiful scenery or seek spiritual comfort, it is worth a visit. The statue is not only a symbol of Brazil, but also a symbol of peace and love for the whole world. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share to let more people know about this great statue.